Welcome back. Remember this type of advertisement from the 1970s, a time when fondue parties were all the rage? Friends and family gathered around the avocado green fondue pot to dip, eat, repeat, and enjoy. Turns out, it's hip to dip once again, and here to show us how to do it are the pros from the Melting Pot at Station Square. We want to welcome operating partner Chris Millsap and fondue professional Megan White. Good morning yeah. to both of you. Good morning. I am so excited to do this. So tell us what we have going on right now in these pots. We've got a couple cheese fondues. Uh, we've got the Wisconsin Cheddar. This is probably our most popular cheese. Uh, it's a classic beer cheese. Over on this side is the Quattro Formaggio. So that is Quattro also really Formaggio. popular. This is a four cheese blend with a little bit more Italian flavor. And the big news is really that you guys are opening up in a new space in Station Square. Everybody That's knows correct. where we were located before. <laughs> yep, so we moved just about 100 yards down the road. Uh, we're at 242 West Station Square Drive now, and it's beside the Sheraton Hotel. So what can people expect? We're just seeing some of the pictures here from the new space. Uh, well, you're going to get a really open dining concept. Um, if you were in our other space, it's a little bit more secluded and romantic. This is more casual in certain areas. We have a little bit more of a social atmosphere. You can pick your dining style. So if you wanted to go to a more secluded area, you could do that. If you want to sit out in front of everyone, you can do that. We have a second floor that overlooks the dining room, and now we have an outdoor Four Seasons patio. And a beautiful bar. Very mm -hmm. beautiful bar. It's a social bar. It's the centerpiece of our restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, so you can come in, you can have a glass of wine, cheese fondue, get in and out in about 30 minutes, and uh, just enjoy yourself a little bit more. So when is the big grand reopening? The grand reopening is going to be on Thursday, November 15th. And there's a big exciting thing you're unveiling to, you know, kind of celebrate the reopening. Big is a, a good way of saying that. Yeah. So <laughs> we've commissioned a 30-foot cheese sculpture. We're going to be floating it uh, down the rivers for a couple days leading up to it. And the big premise behind that is we have a partnership now with the 412 Food Rescue. Oh, so it's to bring awareness to Western Pennsylvania's hunger issues. That's great. And, and so is this like a... Is it a duck? Like, what, what are we talking here, the sculpture? Uh, well, it is inflatable. It's not actual cheese. Oh, it's not. It's okay. not I'm actual just, cheese. That would be a lot of cheese. a lot of uh, birds and other wildlife, I would Yep, think. so we did this one as an inflatable version, um, and it will be docked in front of Station Square for a couple days. You can actually, we're going to run a contest. You can win free fondue for a year, and you just take your picture on it. It's called Say Cheese Week, and you would have hashtag Say Cheese Week Pittsburgh. That's how you enter the contest. All right, so Megan, you are a fondue professional. <laughs> yes. So tell us a little bit about the experience of eating fondue and what people can expect at Melting Pot. Um, it's awesome. It's fun. <laughs> a lot of different uh, types of cheeses we got going on. So what, what can people expect when they go? Is it the pot is right there in front of you? Yep. You serve yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have apples, bread, uh, vegetables to dip into the cheese. We also have a charcuterie board over here. Lovely. Can add on. Yeah. Right, and we're going to try some of this, right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is our cheddar cheese, our Wisconsin cheddar cheese. Let's get um, you something yeah. to dip. And this here. one's okay. ready to go. That so. looks so good. So it, it's hot, though. So what do you do mm -hmm. what do you, if it's too hot? How do you make sure you don't burn your mouth? You take um, your time. Okay, good. All right, so just take your yeah. time. Yep. So I use one of these. Mm -hmm. This is what you use. Mm -hmm. Now, a, a lot of people like to do little parties at home. It is mm -hmm. the time for gathering. So if people wanted to do a fondue party at home, what are some tips for it? The first tip with the cheese fondue is you make sure you put flour or cornstarch on it, and that'll keep the cheese from binding, so okay. it'll give you a smooth finish. Um, it's very free. You can kind of create a fondue party with anything. So cheese is just one of the components. You can do it with proteins. You can do steaks or fish, chicken, that sort of thing. Uh, most popular probably in our store is the mm. chocolate fondue. Mm -hmm. So that's, in our case, dark white or milk chocolate. We have melted down, but we can provide them with caramel, pecans, Oreo crumbs. That's so good. Um, so again, just whatever your flavor profiles are or, or how fondue work. So um, Chris, you also said that there are some fondue rules. I didn't know there were rules of fondue. I thought this was like a free-for-all. Well, there are a few traditions of fondue. So okay. uh, one of the most fun traditions are with a group, usually fondue is done in a group, if someone loses their bread in the cheese fondue. Yeah, what do you do? In our case at the melting pot, if the gentleman loses his cheese or his bread in the cheese, he's required to pay for the meal. Uh, if mm. a lady loses her bread in the cheese, she's required to kiss all the men at the table. Oh. So, oh. A little bit more of a social environment, I guess you would say, <laughs> than you probably bargain for. So, and what are you adding to your quattro formaggio? So for the quattro, we started with a, a blend. You got a butter case and a fontina cheese. 
The green sauce here is a basil pesto. We have a tomato pesto. Two of the other cheeses is a fresh mozzarella, and then we also have a grated Parmesan cheese. I can't wait to try. Okay, so I want to try one of those. Can I give you my little spoon to dip, Let's or my it. fork to dip? Let's get these blended in. So when you go to the melting pot, you have the pot right in front of you. Are you you allowed to double dip? That seems to be a no-no too, right? Yes, you can double dip. <laughs> um, it's a social community, so everyone's eating out of the same pot, okay. and um, that's part of the experience. All right, I'm excited so, to try the quattro. This was really good. I've never mm -hmm. had apples dipped in melted cheddar before. Yeah. It was very delicious. Yeah, apples are a little bit different, but after you try it, it's probably one of the more popular items to dip in the cheese. So for people who have been to the melting pot before, are there any new menu items or anything you're excited about? Uh, mostly out of our bar section. So we okay. brought in some uh, cocktails to mm -hmm. show you. We have a shareable cocktail list now, which kind of goes back to the fondue thing. We bring it to the table and everyone drinks from the same container. Mm -hmm. So you have an infusion jar, which is here. That is a Maker's Manhattan, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. And then to the right of that, we have uh, barrel-aged cocktails now. So those are aged for a couple weeks. Again, you bring it out to the table, you can order it in a half or a full size, and it serves everyone at the table. And that's going to be, again, infused with a Manhattan. I love the idea of bringing everyone to together at the table. So yeah, thank you guys yeah. so much for joining us this thank morning. You. Thank you. Come try fondue for the first time or enjoy it all over again at the Melting Pot's new location in Station Square. The grand reopening is coming up next Thursday, November 15th. And look out for that big inflatable duck. Cheese sculpture. <laughs> Cheese sculpture. <laughs> Not real cheese, though. Still to come this morning.